All right, guys, so today I'm going to talk all about surgery recovery. And I know people think there's a big difference between recovering from leads versus paddles, because especially since getting a paddle requires a laminectomy, it's a lot more invasive. But as someone who's gotten both a paddle and leads on separate occasions, I'd have to say that my experience was kind of equally painful for each. I'm sure that it didn't help that after I got my leads, I developed a post-op infection, so that brought in a whole different world of pain, but I'm just gonna share some recovery stuff in general as well as some things I learned along the way. So whether you're getting paddles or leads, you're gonna be under post-op restrictions. No bending, lifting, twisting, or reaching for between six and 10 weeks, depending on who your surgeon is. My surgeon said that I could bend at six weeks and I bent and I felt a pop. Thankfully, my paddle and battery remained in place, but the wire connecting the two came unanchored, as you'll see in the picture. Another huge thing is when it comes to eating and just in general, you're going to want to try to sit up. I know it hurts. I just wanted to lay down the entire time, but sitting up is super important because by laying down when I was eating, I developed acid reflux, and also it sort of slowed the bowel movement, for lack of a better word. I tried to follow the rules in terms of eating more fiber and taking stool softeners, but that wasn't enough, and I almost developed a bowel blockage. Another important thing to do is to sort of track things in terms of bleeding slash how your incisions are healing. I tried to take progress pictures every day, and that proved very helpful because after my DRG, I bled a little more than they wanted, and then I did develop a post-op infection. And so having those pictures available to send to my surgeon to say, hey, this is how things looked two days ago, and this is how things are looking today, they were able to see, okay, something's not right, let's get you on antibiotics. And there's a lot of factors that come into play with recovery. You have to remember that my recovery is not going to be your recovery. So many individual things are in the equation from the fact that I was bed bound before getting my stimulator to the fact that I have CRPS, which is a condition that is flared up by something like surgery. So recovery is rough. No way to get around it. But if you are in enough pain to undergo this endeavor, then the short term pain is worth the hopeful long term pain relief. If you're getting ready for this, just know that I'm here for you. I love you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.